this was a wacky video I saw today. That was about this one. It says, video captures woman driving SUV down Vancouver hotel stairs. Yeah, literally. For some odd reason, this person, I guess, thought it was a good idea to go down the stairs with a car. You see, as she's going down the stairs, it looks like she gets out of the car because I guess she can't see, like, all the objects right in front of her. And as she's going down, obviously there's a ton of spectators. And the funny thing is when she reaches to the bottom, she at least puts her turn signals on, I guess. Looking at the raw video too, it seemed like this car was purchased in the city of Richmond. And here in BC, the joke is people there, they don't know how to drive. I guess this doesn't help the stereotype, huh? And then I read this, it says, Brothers turn themselves in as drone operators who affected flight for life at crash site. Two brothers aged 24 and 19 turned themselves in the Rassign County Sheriff's deputies on Friday night as the pilots and owners of the drone that had flown the area above a crash site as Flights for Life responded. So from what I gather, apparently what happened was there was a crash in a highway and then first responders were going to go to the scene. And apparently as people were standing there like witnesses, they saw this drone and a lot of people thought, I guess it was like a police drone or something like that, but apparently that caused a lot of delays and stuff like that because I guess for the responders are like oh there's something there so we can't fly there etc etc irresponsible and dangerous those little words flight for life used to describe a drone operator's behavior over a crash scene in which their helicopters responded to Thursday night in Rassine County a flight for life spokeswoman said first responders on the ground saw a drone flying right above the scene of the highway J and highway 11 and because of that it says they immediately notified the crew in the air that it could put their landing and takeoff at risk it makes me think, one, if police drones or emergency drones have to be, I guess, marked and designed a certain way to make it distinguishable, saying this is like an authority's drone versus, I guess, like someone else's. It's dumb to get basically in the way of stuff like this, but it's kind of interesting too, just from the bystander's point of view, when they saw it in this case, just assume it's something there to help in the situation. So it's kind of interesting there was no kind of hysteria there, just from like the regular public point of view. Alright, 
See you guys later.